Hey guys, um, I'm going to do a little basic tutorial on how to create your own logistics pipe network. Um, there's a lot of videos out there that tell you what everything does. You can watch those. Direwolf20 does a lot of playthroughs and um, mod spotlights. He's really good at doing that. Um, what I'm going to do is actually show you how to do it. So what you'll need is you'll need some basic logistics pipes, a provider pipe, a satellite pipe, a crafting logistics pipe and a requester logistics pipe so you need all those and you'll need a crafting table automatic crafting table you'll need a chest or two and some golden transport pipes but there's my network as you can see it looks kinda complicated but it's not this is how it works the logic of it is you fuel your network with power this is a logistics power junction. It accepts Minecraft jewels, MJs, or electric units, which is uh, Industrial Craft 2. I fed it MJs. Bam. Fed it in there. Works. Hook it up. Cool. Basic logistics pipe right in there. So you light it up green. Green is good. That's great. Now let's give it some. Let's give it some network going here. Yeah. All right. So um, it does nothing yet. Cool. I'm going to set up a, lid, or a, a requester pipe. Bam. That's awesome. Requester pipe turned green. That means it's good. It works. Now, there's nothing there. So the problem is, is I haven't taught my network how to do anything. Um, this is a Mark II requester pipe. And what that means is um, I don't need a wrench. But a, a normal one, you need a wrench to access it. And you might as well just get a wrench because you're going to need it for all the pipes. So, I use a wrench on that basic pipe. That's the interface. What this means is it requests any item I put up in here. It wants those items. Whenever any of those items go through the network, it will go to that route unless otherwise specified. Uh, the default route, and I'll show you what that does in a minute. I'm going to teach you how to make something. Auto crafting table. Slam a jam. Um, I need a crafting logistics pipe. So, bam! Because this is a problem. Every every little network, or uh, every little intersection, you need a basic logistics pipe. So you, then you're, instead of it sending it in random directions, your network will know where to send it, making it smart. So, slam it! Smart! Basic pipes. Cool. Now we got a, a logistics pipe here. That's This is the interface for the crafting one. Cool. I'm going to open it, which opens the crafting table, like right-clicking on it, works. Bam. I'm going to make tin, or uh, bronze. Bam, bam, bam. Bam. Cool. Auto crafting table set up with that. Let's import it. Bam. Now my network knows how to make bronze. Bam. I can make bronze. I'm going to make some bronze. Oh, crap. I don't have any tin or copper. Well, tits McGee, man. So what I need to do is I need to provide resources to my network. I'm going to do that using a chest. Slam! Chest. Oh. Bam. There we go. Cooler chest. Better chest. Okay, so uh, I have a chest there. I'm going to put that crap. Here we go. I'm going to put the copper and tin in there. Slam! Alright, now i got to connect it to my network. Oh, God. I'm going to use a... Provider pipe. Slam. Hmm. I'm gonna put the provider pipe somewhere. A little bit better. I'm gonna connect it. Bam. It lighted up green. That's great. Hey, we know what that means. Slam with the little wrench. Brings up this. You can in include or exclude items in the chest. Anything that's inside this chest will be connected to the network with a provider pipe. So if I right click here. Oh, look at that. It's all that tin and copper and crap. But that's not all I want to do. Now, let's say there's a problem. That creates four, if you notice. So, bam! I want three because I'm a douche. Gives me three. And the third, you see the last one over there? Yeah, that's a problem. So, what I need to do is I need to set up a default route to my network. I'm going to do it by doing this. Default route. So I'm going to get a basic pipe, which I already have on my bar. Slam it. Wrench it. Bam. Default route enabled. 
what will happen is anything going through this network, it will, if it has no home, it will go to that default route. So I'm going to do that again. I'm going to go, I want two of these, bam, Let's see what happens. Oh, should be two bronze in here. Look at that, that's sweet. Job well done. Now what happens if items aren't stackable? Crap, they, because they, if you know how uh, auto crafting tables work, you can stack items like this, as you can see, oop, uh, sorry, like that, you know, so you see I have 20 bronze in there and I can leave it alone, but items that aren't stackable, like my pickaxe, or how about, oh, there we go, I have swords in here, I can't stack these swords, so the thing, the answer to that is putting a chest next to it, like so. Now, anything inside this chest, it will pull whenever it's requested an item. But what we have to do as well is we have to set up a thing called a satellite pipe. So I have a satellite pipe here. Bam! Oh, I have another intersection right here. I need to put up a basic pipe because it makes my network smart. So I'm going to do that. Bam. It should light up green. It should light up green. Don't be stupid. There we go. That took a little bit longer than I thought. Slam it. I'm going to give it an ID. Bam, 23. That's my ID. Now go back to your little crafting pipe. Set it to 23 as well. What will happen is every time an item under the satellite for the input, like let's say I put diamonds there, two diamonds. Whenever an item like two diamonds is requested from this crafting pipe, it will send it to this satellite pipe with that ID that I set. It will put it in the chest. Although I'm not going to do the, that. I'm going to get rid of this from the inputs, from the normal ones. These will go to the crafting table. All these. These will go to the chest. So I'm going to go grab a couple of tin or copper and a tin, whatever. And then I'm going to put those in that satellite slot. So bam and right. I'm using right click. Bam, bam, bam. I got three copper and tin. What will happen is instead of it going to the crafting table, it will go to the chest. And if you really want to be cool, you can put two there. You're cool. Now I'm going to request some uh, some more crap. I want ten bronze. Bam. As you see, it's going in the chest. That's what you're slamming. It's going to spit out at me, though. I think it is. Why is it? Why is it? Why is it not? Oh, because I have uh, bronze in there. <laughs> Oops. So, uh, my bad. But it shot it out. So now I have 30. Because I made 10. Should be some excess. There it is. Okay, so that's how you do it. Um, so this works. And because I did this, what will happen? Um, whenever you request multiple stacks, let's say 20, it will. It can potentially keep sending copper over, right? So what will happen is these will all fill up to 64, and then it will keep feeding copper into it. What will happen is it will reject it because it can't go into that table, and then it will send it back to the network. Uh, the network doesn't know where to go, so it will put it to a default route, causing a hell of a lot of lag. Your whole server will lag. So what we do then is instead do what I do, is I use a satellite pipe. I use a satellite pipe and use these for that. That makes it super easy, because then I can feed whatever the hell I want in this chest, and then the auto crafting table knows what to do. And then here, that's cool. I'm going to put this there. What will happen is every time I request a pot, uh, an item, it will go into this chest, so that, that's slamming. Um, this mod is a little bit more complicated, but here's what I have set up to give you an idea. Main line goes up to my resources. My resources are used um, for everything, obviously. But what I have them in is I have them in barrels. Barrels are a part of a mod I forgot. Uh, what we can do with that is hook them up to the barrels. My network knows. As you can see, I have a thousand diamonds, four thousand iron ingots. Uh, it knows what to do. Now, I've taught my network a lot of items. Each little intersection represents an item. And then here's my satellite ones, you know, the items that don't stack. For example, if we open up this one, this is an MFE. 
and you, everybody knows there's an MFE, right? Um, these don't stack, these energy crystals, they do not. So what we do is we set those crystals up to a satellite pipe. And those get fed in these chests. There's, if you can see them, there's chests in the middle, and then there's crafting tables on each side. So, automatic crafting tables. So that's my... It goes uh, from IDs 1 to like 23, 22, actually. So, that's pretty cool. Um, I have them connected here. I have power here. I have power upstairs because the power doesn't go forever. This is my requesting pipe. If I want 10 sticks, because I don't have any, it's now requesting 10 sticks. It's going to ask for some wood. It's going to make wood. It's going to make planks, whatever. It's going to make sticks. Send the remainder up to my default route that I have set upstairs. So that's how it works. It's uh, kind of simple. Um, it's actually really awesome. I think it's one of the best mods I've used in a long time. I appreciate you guys watching and have a good one.